guys. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to buy a bike. I've been getting this question a couple times and I've been meaning to make a video on it, but the weather has been so extraordinarily hot. It hasn't even been worth coming down here um, to film in front of the bike shop. But today, a little bit cloudy, um, a bit overcast, so the temperature's perfect, weather's perfect. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Most people, when they get here, will probably buy a bike from somebody else. A lot of the international students are only here for a temporary time frame or whenever they leave or get a new bike, they will sell their bike on the LINE group chats. And if you don't know what LINE is, it's like a messaging app that basically everybody uses here in Japan. So if you're going to come over here, make sure to download LINE. But a huge number of people will sell their bikes on LINE for a really, really good price. They will be used, they will have you know various conditions and whatnot. Um, for me, I wanted a new bike. I was going to be here for a year, so I wanted to make sure that I had some quality, um, something that I liked, something that fit me. So I looked around, I shopped around for a bit, and I decided to buy it at Pallet. Well, there are a couple places that you can buy a bike. Um, first, you know, Pallet, which is the closest to Kudai. Um, it's like maybe a three to four minute bike ride. Um, there's also Don Quixote, Donkey, which it is affectionately called um, by everybody here. And some other bike shops sprinkled around the place, but by far the two most popular places to buy a brand new bike are going to be Donkey and Pallet. Actually, there is uh, like another bike shop that I've heard some people buy some from at the mall, but I've only heard of maybe like one or two people buying from there. Now, the reason that I bought from Pallet is because they have a wonderful lady here who will walk you through everything. And she doesn't speak English, and at the time that I bought my bike, I didn't really speak Japanese either. So she used a translator to kind of explain what she was doing um, as she was going through, because buying a bike isn't just buying a bike, right? And especially at Pallet, when they do everything for you, it makes everything so much easier, right? When you find a bike that you like, She'll help you, you know, ride it around a little bit, make sure it fits you. And if you want to buy it, you go in, she does the paperwork, and she'll sign you up with the city for, like, theft protection. That's one of the things that you don't have to do it, but you should do it, um, is get theft protection on your bike. Japanese people get their bikes stolen quite a bit. I've had a couple of my friends get their bikes stolen. Um, so getting that insurance is, is really, really helpful. And so basically all you do is register your code, which will be posted somewhere on here um, with the city or the police office or something like that. And she'll do it for you. Uh, if you buy a bike from somebody else, like secondhand, you will need to go do that by yourself. Um, maybe if the person that you bought the bike from is a Japanese native, they can help you with that. Um, otherwise, you know, you'll need to go do that on your own at the, the police box. It's not too difficult of a process, I don't think, but luckily I was able to have it done for me. Um, I'll put like the paperwork up right here or something like that. I didn't bring it with me, but I know I've got it in my dorm somewhere. Um, and then you will get uh, your key. You know, once she's done filling everything out for you at Pallet, you get your key. And before she sends you off, she'll let you know that you can come back once a month for free servicing. So she'll service your bike, see if anything's wrong with it. She'll oil the chains, the gears, whatever it may be, and send you on your way. And it's free, which is awesome. And as far as I know, you don't get that at any other bike shop around here, which is another huge selling point for me. So the process of buying a bike can be very simple if you just buy it from a friend. Leave it at that. Or it can be a little bit more complex if you go and you buy it from, say, Donkey. And, you know, you don't have somebody to service it for you if something goes wrong. You don't have somebody to get the theft protection for you. You kind of have to do those things on your own. But overall, I think bikes are an extremely important thing here in Japan. And it's something that everybody uses. So I think it's, it's paramount that you have one if you're going to, you know, travel around Japan at all. Not even travel, just daily life, man. Uh, super, super important getting from, from point A to point B. And basically all my friends have gotten. You, you go to the beach, the train station, restaurants, uh, convenience stores, things, all like that. So really, really important, I would say, to, to get a bike. But if you guys have any other questions about things that you want to, you know, learn about here, I'm only here for, oh, not even a month left. Uh, 
So let me know. Toss it down in the comments. Here's here's my bike here. Um, beautiful white basket. Got gears. Cute little bell. Um, there we go. And uh, the key. This is A2 from Near Automata. Um, yeah, this bike is treated me very well and I would highly recommend that you guys buy it from Pallet. Um, this cost me about 26,300 yen I want to say which is I'll put the, the dollar equivalent up there. Um, it is a little bit more expensive I will say. Not by much but you do get the free servicing. Um, you do have her help you out with registering your bike for theft protection so to me, the closeness, the free servicing, and you know the walkthrough of getting the bike fitted to you as you're here, um, the theft protection just makes that infinitely worth it. So I would, again, recommend buying from Pallet. They've just got a great selection of bikes from, you know, pretty cheap to really freaking expensive. Um, and my my bike was on the cheaper side, but they've definitely got cheaper bikes if you know budget is an issue for you. But yeah. Again, like I was saying, if you guys have any other questions about things around campus, things you're curious about, toss it down in the comments. Um, I'll do my best to make a video about it. And uh, thanks again for coming to visit me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.